What's going on fam? It's your boy Mosey here, back with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have a video request from the homie Caesar, who wanted me to watch the video, How the Universe is Way Bigger Than You Think by the Real Life Lore. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be checking out today. Um, I'm really curious as to if my perception on how big the universe is, is correct. Like, I already know the universe is extremely big and a lot of people underestimate the vastness of it. So I already know it's very, very big. I'm just curious as to how accurate my perception is and how big I think it is, if it actually holds up to what I'm about to see. Um, if you guys are interested in watch me watching any other random videos, animes, music videos, movies anything else definitely just drop a comment down below and then before i get into today's video this is just a daily reminder that this is not a market substitute you should definitely check out the real life solaris video if you're interested in how big the universe really is is earth you live here on this planet somewhere and everything that you've ever known is located right here but just how small exactly is earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality the moon isn't this close to our planet, it's actually about this far away. 384,400 kilometers away okay. from right now. I, I knew the moon was far away, but that definitely... Entire Earths in between this distance, and if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. Despite this incredible distance, hmm. however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth, and one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like really from there crazy. if you were standing there with them. And if you like, I knew we were, the moon was far away, but I didn't know it was that far. ...about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them, since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. Whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will Blows be mind if we do that. six times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. When we zoom what? out even further away, we So obviously that's not a good idea for us to start phone, which is to the colonize Mars. ...object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth. Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1... How did we... How? ...this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings in the history of our species lived there, on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that Damn. speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your How do we know this stuff? I don't understand. Like previous example to the moon, it would take over 6 times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. 
When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located my, right my here. My brain is starting this to hurt because dot I, is the furthest How do we know this stuff? Radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 That's just the Milky Way and our little tiny end. dot? There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even if you don't believe in aliens, I'm sorry, but you're a nothing compared idiot. to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further, and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further, and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the how do we know this? How can we see it? I my brain? Other groups of galaxies, just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance so there's 100 from one side to the other is 100,000 galaxies within inside those 100,000 galaxies there's billions there, of planets zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything this is the observable universe and it contains everything that we know of it is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire earth the distance from earth to any side of the observable universe is 46 how do we know this light years which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply really, don't we know cannot what else imagine is out it. there because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So this is why I have such a hard time with like religion, like how this stuff is possible, but yet people simplify it as God just created it in seven days. The entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, it seemed to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. <laughs> I don't want to watch this video anymore. I'm getting a little scared right now. <laughs> but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. I, n this video was made possible by Squarespace. Alrighty, well that was it for how the universe is way bigger than you think by real life lore. Uh, great video, by the way. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with the universe at all. Um, I, under, I understand his sentiment at the end about how, hey, you know, there's more for us to explore. There, that's good for us. I disagree, and I'm gonna share a clip from Bob's Burgers as to why I think this. Based
Based on simple probability, there should be at least a hundred thousand civilizations in our galaxy, right? And at least a thousand type three civilizations. That means that there are billions of years more advanced than us. They can harness the energy of the entire galaxy and travel between stars. But we haven't met them. Why? Well, it's probably because one of these civilizations is massively predatory and is wiping out the rest of them. Now, with that being said, that is exactly why I don't fuck with the universe. Like, yeah, our curiosity, I'm curious as to what's out there. But the fact that there's so much out there, like Henry said, there are probably people out there way more advanced to us that could wipe us out. And I know how evil humans are that like, you know, like if we went to like a distant planet and found people there, we would definitely try to enslave them and just wait till we come across the one like species who's like, uh, get the fuck out of here. You know, that's my mentality of why I I'm hesitant on space exploration, but you know, hopefully or not hopefully i know um i'm not gonna be around in like seventy thousand years when that time comes so i guess that's not something i'm gonna have to worry about so it is what it is but i do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this reaction it's been real it's been fun it's been really scary honestly <laughs> uh but i appreciate you guys later on